How many people are coming? There'll be four of them. Richard, Linda, this is Jay and Gail Perry. Thank you for agreeing to meet us. You're welcome. I thought there's a madman somewhere that wants to make this into a movie. This is four people walk into a room and have a conversation. How is that ever going to be a film? Mm -hmm. uh, I knew that idea and then I read it and I went, it's brilliant. I still don't know if it's going to make a movie, but I want to be, I want to go on this, you know, these pretentious words, you know, journey and stuff, but it is. It, this four very complicated, messed up human beings walk into a room, some of them full of hate and blame, some full of guilt. They all want their lives to be better than they are. They think that maybe by going in this room, something will happen. They don't know what. I want to know okay. what changed. That's very hard to answer. Well, please try. It's not just one thing. Then tell me more than one right. thing. Hey, Gail, let's not do it like this. Of new immediately, give them a long leash. Let's make sure we know the script works. Wherever there's problem points, let's fix it. So we had about a two and a half day rehearsal to sort of address the script. And during that time, we also became close really fast that they sort of intuitively or implicitly knew that they had to become an ensemble. They had to trust each other and be able to go to these places. So it was this kind of crash course in intimacy because once we got to Idaho, you know, we shot this, the conversation at least in eight days. So there were some long days. It slowed down as things got more emotional, but at the beginning of that scene, we were shooting about 10, 12 page days. We're not interrogating. Then what are you doing? What are we doing? You say you want to heal. We all do. Is this how? First of all, the day was reasonable. It was when the sun hit correctly to when the sun went down. I didn't like that we had to stop. I mean, we stayed in the bubble of making this story and being inside these characters' heads. Uh, you know, there was a hour-long conversation that happens, maybe slightly longer than I don't know, and I, I resented when we had to stop every day, but we had to stop because there were windows and it got dark. And I, most of the time, found that when we had reached the end of that day and we had done all we could in the dropping in to these people, I was ready to go home, and then we would come together at night. When we weren't filming, we were talking about the backstories of our characters or what would happen in the scene. We stayed up all night sitting in each other's hotel rooms trying to work out what you know, it, it, it felt like it was a continuous two-week period. It didn't feel like there was time on and time off at all. It was like the greatest a actor camp in the whole wide world. I want to look at everything because I blame myself. And I can't change that. What do you mean? I can't change what I've done. The beauty of the story and the writing was immediately clear. And with all of that came the awareness of what was in front of us. What kind of deep dive we were going to do. And speaking personally, the prayer was, can I help, help me to do this? I mean, can I do this? Because it comes with not just respect for the character, but for all of those who've experienced such tragedy. It's very... incomprehensible. So we, you know, we do our best to show a tiny little glimpse of what it must be like. But of course, none of us will know. And I hope none of us ever have to know. Tell me about your son. What would you like to know? Everything. I want to know everything. Why? Why do I want to know about your son? Because he killed mine. 